Hey friends, if this is your first time on my channel, you are most definitely welcome. Before we move any further, hit the subscribe button right now, then click the notification bell so you guys know every time I upload a video because I'll be uploading a lot, a lot of videos regarding the medical school application process and I would hate for you guys to miss a video that may change your life. That's dramatic, but still. If you're a returning watcher and or subscriber, welcome back. What is up? Yes. I appreciate you guys for riding with me, for sticking with me, and I'm so, so grateful. Let's keep growing this YouTube channel and let's get us to 2K subscribers. That is my goal. So let's try to get there and then we're gonna, it's only up from there. So today I'm going to be talking about five top strategies to get into medical school that I think will help you be a successful candidate and applicant. Um, as you guys know, getting into medical school is very, very competitive. There's a lot of people who don't get in the first time they apply, right? And it's, it's, it's tough, it's really, really hard. Medical schools are very selective and you know, it's really important to go into the application process very well informed and also have a strategy. So I, don't, I know I've talked a bit about this before, but it's really, really important that yes, you have the numbers, the grades, whatever, but you also need to be smart. You have to be calculated about the way you apply. So that way it will help increase your chances. So today I'm gonna talk about some strategies that I use and I think can help you be successful. So let's get into the video. So the first strategy I will say is call schools in advance. So I knew my stats were low and you know, I felt very iffy about applying the cycle I did because I was just like, our grades are not so hot, neither is our GPA. Grades are your GPA. I meant MCAT score, sorry y'all. So for me, what I did was I called all the schools I was interested in. So I first used the MSAR to see, okay, what schools fall into my range, right? I had my, green of like we could you know we could aim for this school i had my yellow of like you know if we're lucky and then i had my reds of like it's a far reach but you know what there's jesus with god all things are possible so i called all those schools to make sure that i would at least get a secondary from there from them because i would hate to waste money on a primary and the school had would never have given me a secondary based off of my stats so i called literally about, I applied to 35 schools, but I called about 30. Some didn't pick up or whatever. And I said, hey, I'm a URM. This is my GPA. This is my science GPA. And this is my MCAT score. Would I get a secondary from your school? Would I be taken seriously as an applicant? And doing this allowed me to take some schools off my list because some schools said, you're really borderline. I'm not quite sure if we would give you a secondary. I can't really tell you. Or they would say, this is our minimum requirement. If you meet it, you meet it. If you don't, you don't. And that really helped me because I was able to take off schools that weren't going to send me secondaries, which saved me money. Because you don't want to put your eggs in a basket that isn't really a basket for you to put in. So I think it's really important to call a school so you have an idea of whether you'd be taken seriously as an applicant and if you would even get a secondary because you can't get into a medical school if you don't even receive a secondary from them. So that is the first tip I have. The second tip I have for you is create a realistic school list that matches your values. And this is a bit different from calling the schools because yes, you call the schools to get a list of schools you will get secondaries from, but then you want to go through and see, does this school match my values? And I say this because schools look for fit and schools look, schools are looking for students who match in with their mission statement, their values and their purpose. And it's really important to look at a school to see, does this match with what I'm trying to do with my medical career? And if it doesn't, you really need to ask yourself, why am I applying here? For example, I'll use, um, Y'all, I'm a crackhead. So I applied to a new medical school that was an engineering-based medical school. And when I had submitted my application, I didn't know this. And this was one of the schools that I couldn't get in contact with. So I was just kind of like, you know, I'm gonna just send it in and see what happens. And I didn't even get a secondary, I got rejected. And when I actually did research on the school, I realized this school is an engineering-based school. They were looking for people who kind of had that two interests. Y'all, I have never taken an engineering class in my life. Ever. Okay, that's not true. I have in high school, but in college, I've never taken a single engineering class. So clearly, I wasn't a good fit for the school, which is why I didn't even receive a secondary. So it's important to do that research so that way you are applying to schools that match that match your values and match what you're looking for in a school and that you can see yourself fitting in with them too. So that way, you're also strategically only applying to schools 
that you know you have a, a better chance at. The next advice I would give is apply early. That is the biggest, I think one of the biggest reasons, apart from many other wonderful things about myself, why I got in. I was strategic. I said, okay, I know my stats are a bit low. I'm feeling very iffy about my applications, so I need to be one of the very first applications these schools read. So I really try. So I applied my, I sent my primaries in early, so I would get verified early, so that way I would my application would be one of the first applications that they sent out to schools, right? And then even with my secondaries, there were some schools I was a bit slow on. You know, I I took closer to the two weeks, but I really did try to send in secondaries as soon as I got them because I needed I needed to be in their face. My application needed to be there before all the other applications came in. And I think it's really, really important because when you apply early, you're gonna hear back from the school earlier in certain cases. For example, like I started getting interview invites in July, which is a pretty, pretty early time to get in invited for interviews. And I started interviewing in August. And I interviewed from August and I ended in October, which I think is a sweet spot to kind of be at. And by then, and because I had been interviewing in August and September, by October 15th, I was able to hear back from the schools and see, okay, I've already gotten into medical school. So I know that I don't have to continue interviewing anymore or I know that I don't have to continue worrying about if I'm going to get into school. And I think me applying early was a part of that because my application got out there first and I think it made the decision a bit easier to be like, we like her, let's bring her in. So apply early. It really will only help you. Like, of course, if things life happens, if you're not able to apply as early as you wanted to, you can still get in. I have friends who didn't submit until like the end of June and like got into some really, really good schools. So it really depends on who you are, but this is, you know, if you know you're worried about your application or something about your application, you really want to be strategic and apply early and do that work early. The next thing I would say is be open, be vulnerable, and be yourself, which sounds super cliche, but I think part of the reason why I did get into the schools I got into was because I was myself. I didn't try to overhype myself for medical school. I was honest and I stayed true to who I was. And like, even though at times I doubted those things about myself, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is something I should be putting on an application or whatever, but I did it anyways, and it worked out for me. So for example, on my extracurricular activities, I put YouTube as a hobby because I love making videos, I love talking with you guys, I love sharing my story, and I was able to show that in my application. I was able to be open enough and say like, hey, this is something I really love, and I talked about my documentary that's also on my YouTube channel, and I think that showed the human side of me and it showed that I have interests outside of medicine and kind of showed how I could be well-rounded. So I think it's really important to be open, honest, and be as vulnerable as you want to be. Because even in my personal statement as well, like I talked about something very, very personal that I have ne never even talked with anyone else about. And I had to talk about it because I knew it was so integral into my why medicine. And I felt like if I didn't share this story, there was no way any medical school could understand why I was pursuing medicine. So it's really important to be open, be vulnerable, and be yourself. The last tip I have for you is update letters. You never know how far an update letter can take you seriously so for example like there were some schools where so I have a love-hate relationship with Student Doctor Network. I think it can be very useful sometimes and also it can really just like shoot your confidence down and really make you like second-guess yourself but with its goods and evils I would go on there to see okay what schools have started inviting people for interviews and kind of match it along the schools I applied to so if there were some schools where I'm like I applied to y'all and y'all started inviting people for interviews interesting mm. okay and if I knew that like I was actually really really interested in that school or like really really want to interview I would send an update letter it doesn't hurt I mean read the school's website or a call to make sure that they do accept update letters but there were some schools I sent update letters to and after I sent up an update letter to I got an interview so it's really, really good to continue showing interest in the school. Don't just send your secondary and then just wait around and say, okay, well, they're gonna get to me when they get to me. Because medical schools are constantly seeing new applications, they're constantly reviewing other applications that they had put on hold. So sometimes if your application's on hold, like they haven't really made a decision of if they wanna invite you, send an update letter, send, say what you're doing right now, say, I'm still really interested in your school, these are the new things I'm up to, this is why I'm interested in your school, I'd really love, you know, to get to learn more about the school. And let them make the decision, you know, but I think that helps in the sense of like, it shows you're still interested and it says, hey like remember me and I think from one of my update letters is why I did end up getting an interview invite to one of the schools I had applied to because I sent an update letter I'd been like okay 
Y'all started inviting people in July and it's like September. So let me just send y'all a little love letter real quick to remind you that I'm still thinking of you. And I think that really, really helps. Um, and I still <laughs> have an update letter to send to one school that, you know, We'll work on it we'll work on it but yes so those are my five top tips for you i think those really helped me during my application cycle i think they helped me be successful in different parts of my application i think for me the biggest thing was applying early i think that really 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 helped me and i think that's my biggest one i think everything else i mentioned is equally important but i do think that it's really important like strategy is the name of the game and if you can be smart calculated about how you apply you can increase your chances of getting into medical school if you guys love this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you've just finished watching this video, just go ahead and click subscribe. Just go ahead. You already watched the video, so it doesn't hurt. Click subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you guys in another video. Yeet!